Alrighty, there we are. Hey guys, how we doing? Welcome back. Fresh week, holiday week, Christmas week, however you want to say it. It's a, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an interesting week this week, I reckon. I hope we're all doing okay. I hope we're all well. Why can't I hear it again? Get this controller. Ugh. Just charge it up. Yes, I, I, I know. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, now we got some sound. Do you guys have sound? You guys have a little bit of sound. You never have too much sound. Morrowind's tricky. Audio balance in the audio. I want you guys to hear the music, but I don't want you to hear too much of the, the sound effects. Um, yeah, I hope everyone's okay. I uh, hope everyone's having a decent one. Um, Melbourne's a little funny at the moment. It's meant to be an Australian summer, which even in Melbourne is a little bit on the uncomfortably hot side. Uh, right now it's chilly enough for blankets. <laughs> like you can sit at your desk and have a blanket around you and still be comfortable, which is awesome. Let's not beat around the bush. It's awesome. Um, but it's also weird. Like even for Melbourne weird. Um, like Nocti and I were walking to the shops, uh, today and yesterday. We're like, this is, this is like autumn weather. Hey, race dance. Yeah, I'm doing great, buddy. I'm doing great. I hope you're doing well as well hope you're enjoying this colder weather yeah that we're having all right we're, we're getting to you we're getting to you gentlemen jim um oh you're not good oh no that's well that's that's not good what's going on <clears throat> let's put it that way okay we can we can put it that way and leave it at that if you want to that's that's all good like i mean if, if nothing else, if, I, if you just want to chill here, and or if you can just chill here and and spend some time with the pro fam. Alrighty. So, what are we looking to get done today? We are looking to get a few things done. We're looking to finish off the Thieves Guild and get back on the main quest. That's the primary, uh, uh, primary sort of objectives for today. But we also want to look fabulous while doing it. I mean, look at us. We are fabulous AF. Like, how could you not, like, how could you resist this face? Okay, whoa. Oh, that face right there. How could you resist? Oh, that blink. Oh. Uh, Ray, you spent the last two hours searching for a video game? Searching for a game? Like an older game? <laughs> and then you realized the one you wanted was at a different store, so you had to switch websites. Then the website crashed. Oh. Like, if it's an older game, I can understand, you know, having a bit of difficulty. If it's a newer game, then you shouldn't have to be too much tricky. Too much trouble. I like how we clip through the roof with our jumps now. We are so powerful, We, we our head goes through the roof. We've really come a long way in the last couple of streams. It's from 2009. Yeah, that could be a little bit tricky. Even something from, like, 10 years ago can be hard to find sometimes. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, let's get on with it. So, Thieves Guild. This guy here, Gentleman Jim Stacy, he is the head of the Thieves Guild. He is the master thief. He's at the tippy top. No one's better than him. Uh, he offers two sets of quest lines. He offers a Robin Hood style quest line where you steal from the rich and give to the poor or steal from the rich and then give back to the rich that the original wealth belonged to. Uh, it's an interesting quest line, but honestly, the rewards aren't that great. And you're forced to wear a certain outfit that just really... Honestly, I've done it once in the past and I, I remember distinctly not enjoying it. So let's just work on the normal Thieves Guild questing. Because we also want to, you know, get back into that main quest and actually finish that off. I just, I really want the reward at the end of the Thieves Guild questline, which is the Master Key. Which allows you to unlock any lock. Not untrap it, but unlock it, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's start these Thieves Guild jobs. And then we can have a chat about what's going on later on the week while we're traveling to our next spot. So, a fellow thief and a member of the guild has gone missing. Would you track down Nads Theron for me? I mean, yeah, I mean, we, of course, yeah, not a problem. He used to hang out at the Elven Nation's Corner Club here in Vivek's Halau compound. He was supposed to deliver a key to me. Find out what happened to him, if he's dead, as I fear. Find his key and bring it to me. Okay. Alright, so we just go to the Elven Nations Corner Club and um, ask where this dude might be. That shouldn't be too hard. That should not be too hard. Oh yes, remember Gentleman Jim Stacy lives in a bookstore apparently, or at least hides in a bookstore. 
Okay. So, while we're navigating over to the Halal compound, um, ooh, athletic school level. That's nice. Uh, what's going on this week? So this week, there's a, there's a few special things happening. Uh, there's also a few normal things happening, like this stream and tonight's stream. Both very normal, very average Aussie Dev Bro streams. Nothing surprising is going to happen tonight, or today and tonight. That, that, that's totally what's going on. Um, as for, whee! Ow, my, my toes. Um, as for tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be a fair bit different. I'm going to actually, like, I'll go through this a few times during the day, but yeah. Does Ozzy have skate on? Or does he need to go to the loo? Can't tell. Oh, you mean the Frogonian? Yeah, he uh, he always waddles like this, Ray. <laughs> He's always waddling. Always waddling. Am I even waddling the right way, though? Hello. We want to go... That way. <laughs> He's the penguin. He ain't a penguin. He's Frogonian. Which is Argonian with a fro. He totally has a fro under that hat. You'll never find out. If he doesn't, doesn't. Um. <laughs> Wait, we can't get across here. Well, shit. We're actually faster jumping, believe it or not, Ray. If we, if we jump, we're moving faster. Which is really weird. Mostly when we jump off slopes, but yeah. Uh, best walking an animation? Only walking animation, not fear. The only walking animation we're allowed to have. That being said, I don't think I'll be going Argonian in Oblivion and Skyrim. Because I do want to wear boots. I do want to wear boots. Uh, so it's like Fortnite. You go fast when you jump. Well, only because of we've leveled this character to that point. Wait, do you actually go faster in Fortnite when you jump? What? I just realized, uh, thank you, uh, Streamlabs, for reminding me. I did not turn off the, uh, D&D &D alerts. No, uh, Avast, I do not want to secure a VPN, because it's okay. Uh, alert, no, Cloudbot. Sorry, bear with me while I just turn this off. Otherwise, we're going to start getting spanned with D&D-related things. Turn off Sirenscape, turn off D&D &D rules. That's fine, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Cool, that should have fixed that. Sorry about that. Okay. Wait. What do you mean this is the end one? Are we actually where we want to be? We actually might be where we want to be. Indeed we are. Alright, the Halal uh, Waste Works. Alright, so we're looking for the Elven Nations Corner Club. Uh, let's... Okay, we don't know much about this area yet. Let's have a look around. Um, maybe we'll get lucky. Nope. <laughs> Ain't getting lucky here. Uh, I'm assuming it's either going to be upstairs or... You know what? I think it's going to be upstairs. Hold on. Let's see if we can go upstairs at all. So this is... No, this is the top. What? Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. So there's a Halal Temple. Like, these just lead to the other side of the outside. Yeah, these are these will not be useful. These long corridors. To be fair, long corridors aren't normally that useful for us anyway. Um, what's on this side? Or oh, did we already check this side? We did. The banner should have alerted me. Uh, what's that? That door looks really close. It could also be downstairs. Helalu. It sounds like I'm saying halal. Halal. Helalu. But. You know, Davey, you're not wrong. <laughs> you, you are not wrong. Also, hello. I hope you've uh, recovered from the storm that you had the other night. Uh, but y you are not wrong. And I am now flustered, good sir. <laughs> Halalu. The Halalu Council. Oh my god. Right, where where's this corner club? Go on. I don't think it's in the ancestral vaults. I'm beginning to think it's gonna be somewhere else. It's definitely not in the underworks. That's the sewer. It's a corner club. It's not going to be in a sewer. 
Probably injury to chat. <laughs> You're fine. I'm just playing. Um, how's everyone? I mean, I'm fine. I'm a okay. I'm good. Um, I'm wondering if there is something else. Hang on. Uh, uh as you probably saw by the pictures, we we did a bit of coffee shopping yesterday. We actually got one of those like we got a, a holster for our coffee pods, which is really cool. It spins around and everything. Noctia got an awesome book. Oh, guys, that oh, this is where we want to be. Yes, Noctia got this amazing book. This uh, Final Fantasy VII art and animation book. Oh, it's so freaking good. It's so freaking good. All right. Greetings and salutations. So, we're looking for someone by the name of Nads Tharon. Nads Tharon was last seen here. So let's start asking. Uh, do you know anything about Nads Theron? I saw him from time to time, but I never spoke with him. All right, fine. Uh, what about you? No, you know nothing. You seek information, Argonian. I do actually. Do you know anything about Nads Theron? I couldn't really say. Now all these people really like me, so I have no suspicion as to them not knowing uh, any more, not having any more information for me. I haven't seen him for a few weeks. He used to come here every day. Oh my god, these guys all don't know him. Uh, you're about to do for another shop. Had your partner's nephews over last night. Or, of all nights, and they just kept eating. Oh no! Mmm. <laughs> Nocti and I did our Christmas food shop. Uh, so I got a ham. I love my Christmas hams. So I got a ham. Uh, we got a salmon roast. Oh, it's going to be so freaking good. Uh, these are all like pre-made things that you just like put in the oven and whatnot. Like, don't don't get me wrong. We are not being fancy. It's just these are the things that we picked up. Um, I'm going to be making an egg, a potato, egg, and bacon salad, which is going to be beautiful. Um, none of these people know who I'm looking for. This is really frustrating. Although, this person said she's never spoken with them. Yet all these other people said that May I help you? they know him and he's here. Hold on. Hold the phone. We're going to save. We're going to try and admire, admire this woman. Alright. Uh, you have amazing eyes. Hey, there we go. Uh, your cheekbones are incredibly pronounced and I like it. Hey! Alright, cool. Uh, let's see if she gives us more information. She doesn't like it when we say something about that. Okay, hang on. Let's see if we can get it to 100. Our persuasion's pretty good. 99 is pretty close. Like, surely she has more info for us. No, okay. She's being very sketchy. She is being... Very sketchy. Do we know where he lives? Is there I don't think we know where he lives. Hmm. We could we could try and find his house. Hey, Jashika, how you doing? Unless unless I need to admire these other people. You see salmon in the chat? Yeah, yeah. We've got we were I um got this amazing salmon uh salmon uh roast that we're gonna have on Christmas Day. Oh this wait, did I not uh, talk to this person? I don't think I'd talk to this person. Avama Ruthry spoke with him the last time he was here. So the person who said that he they've never seen him before actually spoke with him last. Well, there you go. You might check his residence. But I don't know where he lives. Ask Adela. She knows her customers well. Although she is reticent, reticent to speak of them. Well, surely now that I have this piece of information. Okay. You know what? You need to like me. I like your hair. No? What about you have beautiful red eyes? Your cheekbones are very pronounced and I like that sort of thing. Oh my god. Just raised above 75 for me. That, that should do it. Damn it! How do I get it? A... Oh, wonderful. Ah. Welcome, Alpha. 
Uh, just having a slow roast pork on Christmas Day. Ooh. I'm also going to be making a potato, egg and bacon uh, salad. Uh, I'll probably grab like a mayonnaise-less coleslaw because you don't want mayonnaise on mayonnaise sort of thing, like cream sauce first on cream sauce. Uh, Noctia and I, we always do like a little tasting platter, well, not a tasting platter, but we always like to get like little, um, we like to get little, you know, you get some fancy dips, you get some fancy crackers, and then you get some, uh, you get some like, you know, some, <laughs> I know it's more salmon, but you, you know, little bits of salmon. You get some, uh, camembert cheese. Oh, it, it's so good. We do, we do the, that's, that's normally what we do. Through the Vec Temple, across the bridge. Wait, what? Is that where his house is? We just need this person to like us more. There we go, 85. I'm sure this person will tell us. Damn it. Tell me where this person lives. Come on, just a little bit more. Yay, there we go. Had to be over 90. Um, Alright, I'll tell you just one thing. I saw Nads Theron talking with Avama Ruthri uh, the last day while I was here. I haven't seen him in a while, though. Check in St. Delwyn, Hanton, Southside Canal Works. Right, there we go. And if I find a dead body, I'm coming back for you. Because you... I feel as though I should know you. If we, once again... What is she? She's shifty. She's shifty AF. Just she, you'll be here in 24 hours. Well, I mean, you could, but I, I, I mean, I mean, you know, we'll have plenty of food. Just everybody get down here. Everyone get down here. Actually, speaking of Christmas, speaking of Christmas, remember tomorrow night, not tonight. So not my latest stream tonight, but tomorrow night is our Christmas stream. It'll be a six hour Christmas stream. There will be no midday stream, so the, the time slot we're doing now won't exist. But, um, however, we will do the nighttime stream. It'll be six hours. It'll go from 6 p.m. to midnight. I have gingerbread houses. We're going we're gonna to do that first. So we'll do the gingerbread houses, uh, and then we'll play just random Chris. We'll play the Escapists. They've got a, a Christmas update. I've never played the Escapists before. But I've heard it's a good game, and I figured that'd be fun. Um, and uh, and yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna have some nice Christmas fun. I bought some decorations. I bought. I mean, not a lot. Don't get your hopes up. It's really it's more like Aussie Dev Bro decorations, so they're really not that flash. But I did buy some decorations. I've got a hat. You know, tomorrow I'll go. I'm going to another shop, so maybe I'll find some better decorations. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow night, if you guys want an early Christmas party, I'll be here. Um, and even if you guys don't show up, I'll still be here having an early Christmas party. So, don't, don't worry about that. Uh, South 2, she said. So is this South 2? That's North 3. <laughs> Although your bank balance says you can only go to your front door. Ooh. I know that feeling, Jess. I'm right there with you. The Queensland trip, oh boy, we are <laughs> no more, no more trips for a bit. <laughs> South two, and there's a dead body. Yep, there's there's a dead body. Definitely, that's definitely a dead body. So, um, I mean, he has the key. That gentleman Jim Stacy wants. So I suppose that's a thing. Um, he has some money. I mean, he's a thief. We're a thief. I think he would look down upon this fondly if we stole from him. He has egg. We have stolen his egg. Uh, we don't need to sleep in his bed. Because that would be rude. Um, Alright, we'll just uh, we'll just go. We'll just go. Red sus. <laughs> uh, yeah. What words? I have no words for you, guard. All right, we're gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to the Halalu quarter, and uh, I'm gonna go ask that lady who claimed to have never met him before, uh, why she was speaking to him the night he died.
Because that just screams suspicious, right? How are we doing? Um, Jess, we're a little cold, actually. Melbourne's a little cold. I don't mean to gloat, but it's it's jumper weather in Melbourne. New strain came from the UK. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's information flying around everywhere. It's like... I <laughs> no idea. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is it, citizen? What do you mean, what is it, citizen? Don't you, what is it, citizen, me? I am the citizen. I am the Amiga and the Alpha. No, is it the Alpha and the Amiga? Whatever. I am peak performance for Agonian. Yeah. No, nah, it is it's it it is what it is. For for a lot of places at the moment, it's kind of just happening. Yeah, exactly, Jess. Like I've said this to everybody. Do what you can. You look after yourself, you look after your families. And if that, you know, as, as best as you can, you know, it's, it's... You flatter me with your attention, I'm going to flatter you with attention, all right? With my spear. Wait, shit. No, I meant, I meant this spear. I meant the spear that is on screen right now. Um, I meant the one, the, the, the stabby kind of spear, not the uwu kind of spear. That, that's what I meant. Um, all right. Lady, you got some explaining to do. Why is Nads Theron dead? So he's dead. What does that have to do with me? I believe you killed him. You will suffer greatly. Perhaps I did, but you won't live to tell anyone. Oh, this is a time. Oh, God. Okay, well, let him. Okay, she attacked first. She attacked first. It's self-defense. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, there's, there's innocence in the way. Get out of the way. I can't attack her when... Okay, she's dead. All right. What are you doing? You are walking so close to active combat, you silly person. <sighs> Sorry, I, was, I got a little heated there. Um, you know what? You can lie there and think about what you did. I'm going back to Jensen. Jim Stacy. That was easy. Yeah. I'm at that point in Morrowind where I'm not overpowered. But I'm doing quests that, like, we should be doing mid to late game now. And this is, technically, we are doing mid game quests. But, uh, like, the dungeons and stuff are hard, but the people around cities are quite easy to kill. Um, like, general people, normal NPCs, they, they can't hurt us anymore. I mean, she did literally hurt us, but they can't actually hurt us. This is Redorian. Hold on. I want to get back to Foreign Quarter. There we go. But if we go into like a a, a, Dwem a Dwemel Ruin, or we go into like a uh like a a uh, Daedric Ruin, we can get owned pretty quickly. Why are we walking like that? Because I'm an Argonian. This is how Argonians walk. If you'd like, Jess, I can jump around like a frog. You want me to jump instead? He looks like he's walking like he needs to poop. He does. <laughs> Perpetually. Always. He needs to lay an egg. Um, Molten Bullet, how you doing? Hope you're well, buddy. Ah, welcome. Come in, friend. Whee! See? Our jumping is actually faster. Like, look at how fast we jump. That's a traitor. That's a clothier. No, where's our... Wait, where's our... Hold on, have I gone to the wrong place? I think I've gone to the wrong place. Oh, I most certainly have. Hang on. How's your day going, Molten Bullet? Uh, I'm doing well. We're doing well. Did some Christmas shopping yesterday. Gonna do a little bit more tomorrow, just to get it done, out of the way. I'm on the wrong side, I think. Quickly, quickly jump over here. 
leapfrog over. Um, little chilly though, Molten. Little chilly. Ah, here we go. Nope. Oh yeah, like anyone would blame you specifically, Jess. Like, come on. <laughs> we're not we're not international governments, okay? We don't blame each other. We we accept that unfortunately this is a thing that's happening and we just gotta deal. Blaming people doesn't help anything, Jess. Like at all. Your day's been good, just got home a bit ago, trying to gather yourself. Sometimes you need to gather yourself after a hard day. Sometimes you just need to... Wait, you're not government? No. Alright. Gentlemen, Jim Stacy, were you able to locate Nad Tharon and his key? Uh, we were able to locate him. And we avenged his body. And we got the key. Yes, this is the right key. This buys us some time in our war with the Kamana Tong. I'm glad you ki- <coughs> Oh dear! <coughs> there is- there is something in my throat. <coughs> Hang on. <clears throat> I'm glad you killed Avama Rathrin. She was probably working for the Kamonatong. Here's a little something for you. Right, so the Kamonatong is a an, is an assassin agency sort of thing within Morrowind. That's not the Dark Brotherhood, but like a Morrowind specific one. Chess looks at file. Oh, I'm looking for Aussie Doofree. <laughs> mm, mm. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Okay. A thousand gold. I like a thousand gold. Uh, Jim, can I, can I advance in the Thieves Guild? Practice my skills before I can be ringleader. What do you mean I need to practice my skills? What's wrong with my skills? Thieves skill. Need one skill at 70, two skills at 25. What? Okay, acrobatics. I reckon if we can get acrobatics to 70. Because I think light armor? No, sneak. Sneak is definitely one, so that's 52, so that's fine. Security? Is 40. Yeah, so that should be fine. It's just... No? Not acrobatic? Oh, that's Imperial Cult. Yeah, acrobatic sneak security. Yeah. I need some training. Can you train me? You can. Can you train me in acrobatics? No. Well. That doesn't help me. <laughs> I wonder if she heard me say that. Okay. In that case, what's the next job? The Fighters Guild is betraying the Empire for Komona Tong Gold. Perseus Mercius, the old guildmaster at Alderuin, might be able to help us fight. Okay. So this quest line is all about preparing the Thieves Guild for war with the Assassin Guild, essentially. <clears throat> help us fight, there it is. Perseus Mercius is the steward of the Guild of Fighters in Alderuin. He used to be the master of the Fighters Guild before the Kamona Tong got involved. I believe he will help us fight the Kamona Tong. Go speak to him and listen to what he has to say. Report back to me with any information. My throat okay? Yeah, my throat's fine. What day is my throat is absolutely fine. Uh, it's probably not going to be fine at the end of the week. Um, because there's, there's going to be some interesting streams going on. But uh, yeah, I'm all good. Okay, so we're going to head back to Alderuin, or Alderun, however you want to say it. I used to call it Alderun. What? Now I don't know why I was saying it in another way. Hit, jump over him. Um, yeah. What else have we got planned? So we've got the Christmas stream tomorrow, right? So that's, that's awesome. That's going to be fun. Uh, I'm also thinking, so we've got Raft on the 24th. So tomorrow for me is the 23rd. We'll do Christmas stream. Then... Yeah, that's tomorrow. So for me, it'll be the 23rd of December. For I think a lot of you guys, it'll be the 22nd of December. So it's a little early, but I figure get it done because I know not many people will be around, obviously, on Christmas Day. And uh, 
and I don't want to take people away from their families if they if they are doing stuff. So I thought tomorrow would be a good day, a good night to do it, really. Um, that'll be 6 p.m. till midnight. We make a special trip just for you. Say hello, right? Alright, let's travel to Balmora and then we'll go from Balmora to Alvarun. Um <clears throat> There we go. Then uh, on the 24th, or my 24th, so the night after, uh, we are still playing Raft. So that'll be a Thursday. We are still playing Raft. So um, that is still happening, as far as I'm aware. So if you guys want to see us literally Christmas Eve in Australia playing Raft and finishing Raft, it'll be the final Raft stream, because Raft will be done, like Chapter 2 will be done, essentially. Season 2, if you want to call it that. I call it Season 2 on my YouTube channel, anyway. Um... That'll be finishing up on Christmas Eve. Ah, this is the person we want to talk to. How are you? How am I? Um, I'm I'm good. Uh, can you help us fight? So you work for the Thieves Guild, huh? Well, I tell you what I know. Burundi in Sadith Mora used to be my second in command. He's a good man, and he might be persuaded to join your cause. I hesitate to suggest this, but I trust you. Burundi has a lover, a Dunma, from what I hear. If you can find her, you can convince Burundi to join your cause. Aridas Fire Eye is a good fighter, but there's always been something dark about it. I found out just recently what it was. She's a worshipper of Cladvi Cladsius No, Cladvicus Vile. I don't know how you can use this information, but she can't be blackmailed. The new master of the Fighters Guild is Sojoring Shoring Hardheart. He owes too much Kamama Tong gold to back out now. There's no way you can convince him. You'll have to kill him. Okay. So, do I... Hang on. So, what do we do now? Do I go... Hmm. Do I go and do those things, or do I go back to gym? I think we just go back to gym. Pretty sure we just go back to gym. That's fine. So, we get information on the Fighters Guild members. We can, uh, we can bounce on out of here, uh, and then Jim will tell us how we're gonna, how we're gonna utilize that information. Uh, also, I've been thinking, uh, just in general to, to streams. Did you guys want to do a New Year's stream? Like a countdown to New Year's stream? Yeah, once again, it'll be Australia's New Year's. <laughs> but did you guys want to help me count down to the New Year? Um, at the end of the month? Oops. Why are you standing there? That's a very odd standing place. Where yeah? <clears throat> because I think that would be pretty fun. I think that would be nice and fun. Because I know there's a lot of people out there at the moment who can't really, or shouldn't really, be going out of the house. Um, and uh, I feel like if they can't get out of the house and in you know go out and enjoy their parties or their bar or go to a bar or something. I feel like, you know, providing a, a, a an opportunity to party, you know, with us here online. I mean, it won't be much of a party. I'm not a big party goer. You've gone the wrong way again. Uh, but it will be something we can we can do. What about Noctia's kiss at midnight? Noctia will be asleep. <laughs> Noctia will be asleep. She uh she won't be she won't be up at midnight. I've gone the wrong way again. She might try to stay awake, but she'll probably be asleep. Besides, she won't she won't kiss, she'll just run away. <laughs> she'll she'll make me kiss a a, a a plush toy or something. That's what she'll do. That's the Noctir I married. Okay. Okie dokie. Jim, I have the information you wanted. Well, it sounds like Perseus came through after all. I can already think of a way to make use of this. To make use of this. In the meantime, here's some clink in your pockets. 
Uh, okay, so that's 500 gold. That's good. Can we swap knock, please? 3 a.m. isn't fun right now. Yeah, wait, hang on. You're meant to be asleep. Jess. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Look, 500 gold for going and talking to one person. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, next. Insomnia is being a big old B word right now. Oh, I see. That, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Based on what Perseus Mercius told you, I think we can win over Aridus Firei if we can find the Bitter Cup. Bitter Cup. Perseus Mercius told us that Aridus Firei worships Clavicus Vile. Sounds weird. Uh, perhaps she will betray Shoring Hardheart for the Bitter Cup, an artifact sacred to, Cl to Clavicus Vile. The Bitter Cup was lost in the ruins of Ald Redania, which is on an island north of the Urshilaku camp. Hey, we actually know where that is, because we've been there before. So that's super lucky. Um. So hang on, the Bitter Cup. Ald Redania, which is an island north. Like, ad block, you could just work on that side, that'd be great. Um. Okie dokie. The island north. Do you require my services? New. Okay, so where's the camp? The camp's here, right? Yeah. So here's the camp. Oh, there it is. There. It is legit north. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna attempt something here. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're gonna leave. We got a trip. We got a trip to do. But when we get to that camp, because we need to go back to that camp later on in the main storyline. So I'm going to try and cast our mark spell there, which will allow us to teleport back there later, which will save us some traveling later on today. Hopefully. If not today, then later on tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. We're not doing a midday stream tomorrow. <laughs> later on Thursday. Yeah, lots of stress. Once again, Jess, I, I can imagine where some of the stress is coming from, having gone through some of the, you know, the, the lockdown stuff like that ourselves. Um, I'm sure there's other elements of stress that I, I cannot understand. All I can say is, if you just concentrate on the ridiculous waddling of my Frogonian behind, you will fall asleep. Like, just just watch that booty move. Uh, it will put you to sleep in no time at all. Trust me. We've gone the wrong way. Hang on. Where do we want to go? Margan. We want to go to Margan. Where did I go? This is the Margan. Get take me to Margan. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Balmora. Right. Alderun. I'm creased at that. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> nice. Margan, thank you. So should Frogonian be on the treadmill in Minecraft if he waddles so much? Wait. Are you telling me I should name? The Frogonian Waddles, or nickname of Waddles. I mean, we could. It wouldn't be that hard to change the name again. <laughs> All right. Let's try to Skyrim this a little. I want to. I want to get over this. I don't think we're going to. We're pretty good at jumping, but we're not that good. We just broke our feet. That's a. We got him. Didn't even have to go to first person. God. Can I, like, for the Christmas stream, can I just play Minecraft all stream? Like, I, I honestly cannot tell you how much I'm enjoying playing that mod pack. Like, it's just... It's just a lot of fun. It's, it's just a lot of fun. Like, having to navigate such a complicated mod pack, I don't know. 
I'm, I'm having an absolute blast of it. It's going to be a shame when I'm going to have to sort of stop playing it next year. Because there's, there's more Minecraft plans, right? Because the original idea was that we would get two streamers together, like myself and, say, Dark Highness, for example. Um, kind of hoping that would summon her, actually. Um, and we would do a mod pack together versus, say, uh, Wettersorb and, I don't know, Trady Plays, right? I don't know. Or maybe, like, Wed uh, Trady Plays and Dark Highness and me and Wettersorb. Like, and we would, like, um, it would be, you would have one month, we would say we have a, we have a certain amount of hours to play the game. Like, let's say you've got, over the course of a month, let's say you've got, ooh, let's say... 16 hours, so that's four four-hour streams, right? Then you... Wait, what's attacking us? What? What's after us? Oh, Cliff Racer. And then whoever makes the most progress in the mod pack, and we can have chats vote on, you know, whose base looks the best and, and all sorts of things. That's what I was hoping to do. And then I just started playing a mod pack, and then I'm just enjoying it myself. Can we cut? Whoa! Excuse me? Get out of here, you silly little bird! Shoot! You are not Tweety Bird! Get out of here. Not as adorable as Tweety Bird, anyway. I do have to- I do have to ask, why did they make Tweety Bird have such long, luscious eyelashes? It's a little weird, don't you think? In fact, when you really think about it, a lot of Looney Tunes is just a little loony. There's so many ruins along here. It's actually kind of creepy. No! Oh my god, that bug just exploded. There's another cliff racer. It will attack us. Yep, it's attacking us. Ow. Damn it! Get out of here! No, no! Oh god, is the bed is the- Are you attacking us too? No. The bull netch is not attacking us. He is a nice boy. We don't need to attack the bull netches. They are- they are nice. You want to word vomit and scream all your feelings out at the same time you don't? Jess. Yeah, I- uh, yeah, it's hard, because, you know, Twitch chat, it's, you know, it's it's probably not the best place to do it. But, like, again, like, my DMs are always open, Jess. I, I, I can't really help, you know, obviously, I'm not good at helping. I'm good at listening. <laughs> I'm not really good at giving advice, though. Get out of here! Thank you. Okay. And there's a rat. We can hear the rat. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Is that silly? No, it's not. I was gonna say, is that that tomb that I kept getting lost in? I was looking for. If I just found it by accident this time, I would have yelled out pretty loud. Run down, read them out, then burn them. Negative emotions. That's actually not. A, that's actually a really good idea, Davey. Like sometimes just getting them out helps. That's actually a good idea. Just a lot playing on your mind, yeah. Which doesn't help sleep. Like, help, uh, you know, you need to really sort of tune your brain out if you're trying to sleep. Kind of these rage emotes work so much. Exactly. Cuddly's emotes are really good. I do love Cuddly's emotes. If I could tier 3 sub, I'm going the wrong... Why do I keep going, like, the wrong way? If I could tier 3 sub to everybody and have all of their emotes, that would be amazing. There'll be a day where I'll do that. Oh my god. We get to that day. That'd be great. There's a Daedra there. I kind of want to fight him. Because Daedras give good loot. Like that Warhammer is going to be worth a lot. Not that we need money. Actually kind of not great. That's okay. Suppose. 
Who charge? If I could sprint faster, I would. Oh god. Oh, this. <laughs> I didn't. Think... Well, I mean, I don't know what I expected actually. So there's meant to be a village around here somewhere. There it is. There it is. You are not a village. You are a beetle. Get out of here, beetle. Right. So, we're going to just pop into the center of this camp. We're going to save our game. Because we're going to want to come back here later. Not right now, but later. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and cast a spell. Here we go, Mark. Oh, sorry, what did I miss? Uh, uh, oh, Aussie, your emotes are great too. I, well, <laughs> true, Jess. Noctis emotes are great. <laughs> I feel like the more we say it, the more, like, maybe, uh, you know, maybe we can get someone important to see it. Okay, all uh, right, this might. I have, like, a 2%. Oh, my God. Well, this is bad. Um, I have, like, a. Oh, God. Actually. I need to use a bed. Um, can I... Can I go in here, please? Can I... Can I use your bed? Thank you. I'm just casually using the village chief's bed. Thank you. Because I need to... I need to... I need to cast a spell. And we only get two shots at it, which is kind of sh shit. <laughs> like, honestly, this will save us time in the long run. You wish you could use all of them? Fair enough, Dr. Fuck. Because I don't want to have to travel here every time I need to come back here. On. All right, I'll try this five more times. If it fails every time, then I will give up and just walk. Yeah, okay. That was three. Damn it. You know, this is why you take a couple of uh, trainings in alteration, so you can do this sort of thing. Last one. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Uh, she go, I want to express how I'm feeling to the person I need to, but arguments suck the life from me. Uh, I mean, uh, specifically if it's, you know, with someone that you care about, yeah, arguments can be insanely draining insanely draining i think it's and arguments can hurt like let's not beat around the bush arguments can really hurt too um but at the end of the day if you're having an argument with someone that you you know that like if if, if you guys you know if the person you need to have the argument with and yourself communicate well like, it's sort of, it's almost healthy to have arguments at times. Almost. I, I don't want to say it's, it, it, once again, I'm terrible with advice. Never take anything I say, uh, seriously. Always take it with a grain of salt. Um, ah, dip, fish, get, I'm trying to be serious and the fish are interrupting my train of thought. Get out of here. You, oh, great. Now I leveled up and the, Okay. Right, we good? We good? We good. We good. Um, we good now. Do you have by chance have... Do you have one by chance I'll see if it's not offhand? What about on hand only? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. It depends. Like, I, I don't know. Obviously, I don't know what the argument's about, Jess, and I don't know, like, yeah. Your advice is great. You're better than you think you are, but though, communication is not the greatest, yeah. And, but then that's the thing, right? If communi communication is not the greatest, then is that not more of a reason 
to have open communication with that person. If you if, if you guys didn't... Oh my god, there are like five fish here. I thought I was... And, and, no, okay, four fish and an octopus man. Oh god. I was actually correct. Four fish and an octopus man. I wasn't even exaggerating. Wow. All right. Um, and that's a cliff. Cool. Excellent. Let's get out of the water. This is terrifying. <laughs> what was I saying? That's another fishy. Uh, these waters are deadly. You communicate. They don't. I think I have a better idea about where thing where where you're coming from now, Jess. That was a cliff racer. Of course, it's a cliff racer. Um, oh, it's multiple people. Oh, okay. Wait, Noctia, have you just noticed how the Frogonian swims? What? Have you not noticed this by now? <laughs> you don't really watch Morrowind. <laughs> Oof. Ooh, what the hell is this? Ah! It's a rat! Yeah. What is this? What? It's like buried. That's really weird. There's no door either. I'm probably right with the one they're thinking of, yeah. Like just I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna like yeah. I don't wanna, you know. point you in a direction of what to do because that's just not what i i'm about you know everybody i'm happy to discuss my thoughts and feelings on things but like i don't want to say hey do what i do you know that's not right um if it's an important topic that needs to be discussed even if it hurts it's an important topic that needs to be discussed like that it's plain and simple but the timing how you do it that is the tricky part. And that's what you've got to work out yourself. Because that is human relationships as a whole. That that That's just it, you know? What the hell was that? <laughs> okay. Maybe don't let it become an argument. Keep your voice low and calm. I was in this one too. It's customer service technique for aggressive customers. If they react poorly, it's not on you in the slightest. Yeah. Not letting yourself get wrapped up in the emotion of it. Like... You still want to be emotive, but you don't want to let yourself get wrapped up in the high-octane emotions. I do terrible with confrontation. For the record, I am terrible at confrontation. Um, it, it hits me. It hits me hard. Like, the last... Hello, skellies. Those skellies have bows. Those skellies have bows. Oh, they got paralysis arrows! You jerks! That's cheating! Oh my god! No, stop! No, not like this! No, not like this! Oh, come on! Don't eat- No! What is- so Let me go! What? Stop! What? What is this? What is this bullshit? I can't move! I- I cannot move! I just cannot move. I'm stuck. What, what do I do here, chat? I- I- I can't do anything! I am holding forward on the thumbstick. I, I I hate to break up the... Oh, great. I should rest and meditate on what I'm learned. But we're being stunlocked by... What do I do? Hang on. Do I have anything that can help you? Hold on. Well, first things first. We need to heal. Right. Cure paralysis! Okay. Oh, come on. Okay, hang on. Cure paralysis. Oh, we got one of them! Okay. Cure paralysis. What? One's down. One's dead. One's dead. One's dead. One's dead. Oh, God. But this one just went... Oh. No! No! God damn it! Okay, he has to run out of arrows at some point, right? Maybe we can stealth up. Okay. Just... 
I'm invisible. He can still see me. Can we just... No. Why? No. Morrowind, why? Morrowind. Why? Let me go. No. I have no more healing things. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Can't even cast spells. Um, by the looks of I was confused. Please vent out. To them. If if not to them, they're like Ozzy said. His demons are open. Yeah, yeah. Your feelings are valid, just as much as theirs. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to talk about without feeling like you betrayed someone somewhere. Yeah. I get ya. I get where that's coming from. I, I cannot believe this skeleton's gonna kill us. When was my last save? My last save was at the camp. Okay, we're not that far away. We resisted that. Oh, no. Like, what do you do there? How do you break the paralysis? Oh, great, we're back. Okay. You know what? This is not too bad. This is not too bad. It's not too bad. <laughs> oh dear. Let's try this again. Only this time with less death, please. Um, maybe what I'll do is I will go invisible and attempt to stealth hit them, maybe? Why am I ju just go around? Because he would never tell us that knocked you a bit. Wait, what? 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 <laughs> no. 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 No, 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 no. That doesn't happen. No. No. <laughs> Beat him at chess? Like I could play chess. Do I look like someone who plays chess? I, I... I, I... I could not. I don't think one move ahead, let alone there are two fishes at this. One fish. Zero fish. I have played exactly three chess games in my life. There's something else attacking us now. There it is. Beat him with the board around that. No! No, I don't want this rumor to get spread. That'll get what? No, 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 I don't want it. No. no, I played exactly three games of chess in my life. All three of them were against my dad. He was trying to teach me chess. Uh, we had the Simpsons chess board. Homer was the king. Marge was the queen. Uh, Grandpa were the castles. Lisa was a knight. Bart was... No. Grandpa was bishops? What was Bart? Bart was a knight? No, Maggie was a knight because she was on the little horses. Um, Lisa must have been... Bishop? Bart were pawns. Oh, they were all pawns. That's right, Bart were pawns. Um, yeah, yeah. It was a cool chess set. Yeah, it was a good chess set. Um, shame that... Shame that, like... I didn't like playing. I just didn't have the patience for it. Just did not have the patience for it. Okay. You're going to say that whenever you go home. When you leave to go home, don't leave. Your nan beats me with it. Your nan. Oh! And beats me with a stick. Oh, no, here. I miss it for that weird humor. <laughs> oh, dear. Try to teach me checkers, too. 
I don't know why he thought checkers would capture me more than chess did. Why did my dad attempt those things? Okay. We played a lot of Yahtzee. I do like Yahtzee. Yahtzee is fairly easy to follow. In terms of traditional board games, though... Yeah. Wait, what? Davey? Nani? Nani?! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find we're gonna cite the skeletons. See if they spawned again. Because the spawns change uh when you reload. So it is actually possible uh if you deloaded the area to load new spawns in. But some mobs are set. Like these mud crabs and cliff races, they're all random, right? Um, but some enemies are locked in. And I have a feeling those skeletons are locked in. Which is going to be very unfortunate. If they are. That's okay, we can deal with it. I certainly do not want anything else attacking me though. That's why I'm kind of clearing out shop. While I can. Your dad taught you chess too. Probably one of the few good memories. But no, he only wanted to because he liked it, not because he wanted to spend time with you. But that was the thing. I think my that was like chess and stuff was like my dad's attempt at sort of creating that bridge between games and him. Because he didn't get video games, right? My dad doesn't get video games. He understands it a lot now. Okay, they are, they're, those skeletons do exist. Okay, that's not good. Um, he gets it now, but at the time he didn't. Um. More strength. Okay. How are we going to sneak up on these skeletons? I think we need to stealth up to them. We need to stealth up to them. Fucks that noise. Okay. Okay. We're gonna stealth up to them. Like, they can't see me, right? We're gonna save. <laughs> We're gonna save the game. Right. Okay, they, they can't see me, yeah? They can't see me. Right? Right? They can't see me? They can see me. They can see me. They they might be able to see me. They're not reacting. Oh, we got one! Oh, we got the other one! Oh, that was amazing! They had 50... Wait, hang on. That one's got shock arrows. They changed... Oh my god. Okay. Let me explain what, just, what I just found out, right? So these two skeletons, these two archer skeletons... They are locked in spawns. They will always spawn here. Right? But their weapons are random. And we, on our last save, just so happened to random two sets of paralysis arrows. Which is why we got locked into place. Because this time, we have shock arrows. And... Frost arrows. I'm I'm furious. I'm furious that the game thought it was necessary to give us a shitty spawn like that. You talk about Twitch to your mum and, and all of you guys, and her eyes glaze over. She's like, "Sweetie, I don't know what you mean." My parents understand Twitch pretty well, actually. Um, they can they can find the the entertainment value in it. Like, when I explained, it's like a reality TV show, but I'm always, like, but it's, like, 
I am the reality and the game playing is what facilitates the conversations we have. Um, or at least facilitates the location for the conversations that happen in. Um, my dad really gets it. My mum, I think, gets it, but like, she doesn't see it going anywhere. If that makes sense. Whereas, you know, between you guys and me, I, I do see this going somewhere, so just bear with me and I'll, I'll take it as far as I can. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's certainly something... Oh, my weapon is invisible now. Oh, you are dead. You're a dead adventurer. With a shitty spear, but I will take it. And sell it. Oh, this is another room of skeletons. Oh, wow. A stealth hit? Oh my god, we are nailing these... These guys don't know where I am. I'm stealthed. I'm still stealthed. This is amazing. These skeletons are running in fear because they don't know where I am. This is so good. I think one of them can see me. I think this one, this one knows he's under attack, but he doesn't know where from. Oh, oh shit. Now it goes. Okay, we are now, we're still stealthing, but we're no longer in... Alright, now they don't know where I am. Now they don't know where I am. Look at this one. He's just scratching the back of his head. He's a war wizard? Oh my god. Look at- I'm, I'm stealthing the shit out of them, chat. Look! They, they're not fighting back! Get wrecked! This is- this is actually the most fun I've had uh, in dungeons for a while. Because they- they just cannot react to me. And we're leveling Sneak. Alright, he's dead now. Alright, do they have any good stuff? Uh, Silver Longsword? I'll take it. Silver Claymore, I'll take. Uh, I'll unstealth now for a moment. Oh, sorry. Uh, Dad's usually like... Dad usually tries to teach the kids to do things so they have common ground. Hate fishing, though. Oh, I don't like fishing either. My dad likes it. My brother likes it. They don't do it often. That's a cool staff. <gasps> a vampire ring? Ooh, that's a cool emergency heal. That is a really nice emergency heal. Hey, the bitter cup. Oh. Oh. Huh. That will lock the quest, though. Interesting. Uh, Jess, your mum is quite computer li literate, so... She Oh, she computer illiterate. Oh, so she doesn't understand computers. Her things are a phone, emails, yeah. Just does she play Candy Crush? <laughs> Your mother-in-law used to. Of course Mark like, likes fishing. He doesn't mind it. Um, okay. So this cup is offering us, if we drink from it, it improves our best stat and lowers our worst stat. But we actually need this for a quest, so we're just going to pick it up. We are over-encumbered. Okay, that doesn't make sense at all. Uh, let's drop... Let's drop these arrows. There we go. We can move again. Um, there's some gold here. We'll take that. Okay. Let's let's run around and see if there's anything else around. I can hear a ghost. You've been fishing. Found it boring as fuck. Went roller skating and scared. Exactly. I, I hear something dangerous on the other side of this... ...wall. Oh no, I want to... Okay, hang on. Oh, it's raining. <laughs> I was like, what's that sound that I can hear? I'm like, it's raining. Um, I'm going to take off this ring. I'm going to put on the vampire ring. Look at this. Absorb fatigue and absorb health. That is so cool. Oh, this is awesome. That's a really nice ring to have. Oh, this place is cool. Oh, no. oh, we're in the water. I wonder if there's anything else around. Like, any good loot. Like, our inventory is pretty full, but I, I mean, we might find something. There are fish in here. Oh, God, he was glitching the F out. Wait, is there something above the water? Hold on. I'm not stealthing anymore. Oh, there's a Bone Lord. Oh, God. And another slaughter fish. Get out of here. Alright, they're dead, they're dead. My, yeah, my window's closed. I was just like thinking, I'm like, is my window open or closed? Um, 
yeah, like my parents, they they understand the Twitch thing. Um, they yeah. Once again, I think my dad understands how it could go somewhere. My mum doesn't. A shard axe. We are over encumbered. Looking for anything interesting. Ooh, that's a. Ooh, okay, hang on. What what is heavy that we can drop here? These claymores are worth one sixty. Okay, can we drop those? That helps. Um, what do we got? Mm. This axe worth a hundred. Get rid of it. Nah. Oh, I dropped it over there. Whoops. Chest key. Lockpick. There was a master's lockpick that I kind of covered. There we go. Okay. Wait, what do you mean chest key? There's no chest here. Where is a chest? Yeah, my window's closed. My window's closed. When you get somewhere, and I'm sure she will, she'll be proud of you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that... Actually, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know she will be. I know she will be. Uh... Yeah. Um, yeah, so... So, yeah, yeah, we'll, and we'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. Oh, this was the, okay, we've got the key to this trap, the, this chest. Nordic Trollbone Shield. Some scrolls, and a fuck ton of money, that's kind of cool. Um, uh, yeah, sorry guys, um, yeah. Anyway, anyway, uh, okay, so we've, we've got the bit of cup, so let's, uh, let's, let's head out, uh, let's get out of here. Um, that was a fun dungeon, I actually really like that dungeon. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay, I'm alright, I'm alright, I'm alright, um, I'm okay. We're gonna, we're gonna divine intervention out of here, uh, which means we need to put on the divine intervention ring, a septum ring, divine intervention ring, no, oh, don't take that ring off. Uh, ring of, um, uh, there it is, Divine Intervention, and we out. Woo! You're not convinced what happened? Nothing, nothing happened. No, 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 it's okay. Okay, so we have, so Divine Intervention is a spell that takes us out of, uh, it essentially takes us to the closest shrine, um, which was, which is super useful when you're out in, you know, dungeons and stuff like that. Uh, very, very useful. Uh, let's put let's put the vampire ring on. Let's always keep that on. Um, we'll always keep that one on. Um, where are we though? Oh, we're in Genesis. Okay, Genesis is not too bad. We should be able to fast travel back to Al Run, which means we can get back to Vivek. So that's that's actually super easy. All right, let's go back to Waddlin. Back to Waddle Waddlin. Um, where's vampire ring? There we go. Okay. Cool. Cool. <clears throat> no, no, not nothing happened. I, I was just thinking about something. That's all. Just topic of conversation got me thinking about something again, and I just had to clear my head for a second. Um. Yeah. So this should be. Wait. Do we actually? Hang on. Do we need to? We need to deliver- actually, this is good that I'm rechecking the quest. So remember, the whole reason we went to that dungeon was, uh, was to, uh, to get this cup. And we're going to deliver it to someone in the Fighters Guild so they, uh, they kind of join our side. Because the Fighters Guild is being taken over by the Assassination Guild. And we don't want that to happen. Because if they do, then the Assassination Guild has some powerful fighters that can come after the Thieves Guild. That's what we're trying to avoid right now. Oh, no, no, don't apologize, Jess. No, no, it's, it's, it, it's, honestly, it's, it's, it, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Nocti, you got some hot nudes? Mm, mm, mm. Love some hot nudes. All right. Uh, I believe this is Aridus Fire Eye. Yes, it That's is. That's how I like it. Bold and direct. Oh, Bold? I like you. Oh, she likes me. Maybe we don't even need the cup. The hottest of nudes? Damn straight. You have the hottest of nudes. I think, I think, yeah, I think we need a, 
I think we need a big old uwu on that one. Um, where where's my uwu? There it is. <laughs> um, bit of cup. So you think you can bribe me to betray Shoring Hardheart? Well, you might be right. Just give me the bitter cup. I'll pledge my support to the Thieves Guild. Uh, I will give you the cup. So be it. I take this bitter cup and pledge to support you against Shoring Hardheart. I never liked the way the Kamon Tong was using the Imperial Guild to destroy another Imperial Guild. Tell the Master Thief to contact me when he's ready. No, 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 no. <laughs> Jess, it's okay. No, 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 no. It's not. Nah, it's just something... It, it's nothing. It on like it's it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Please. Okay. Okay. So we've we've got um Aratus Fire Eye on my, on our side. So she will now betray the leader of the Fighters Guild, help the Thieves Guild, which is what we want. Essentially, this questline is going to culminate in a battle, and if you can't get everyone over to your side, you have to fight more people, and it locks you out of more quests. In fact, if you are a part of the Fighters Guild, which we are technically, and you complete this questline, you do have to wow. sort of grovel back at the Fighters Guild to be allowed back in. Um, and even if you do, you can't finish the questline. So you kind of have to pick between Thieves Guild and Fighters Guild. Another thing that they took out of the games, right? They... In Oblivion, specifically Oblivion, you can do everything. Does not matter what character you are, you can do everything. Um, which, in one side of things, I quite like. I don't mind that. On another side of things, it's not correct. Like, if you are a mage, it makes no sense that you can be a fighter, unless you're a battle mage. Um, which, eventually, you would get to that point, and you could be that powerful and do that. But, like, I mean, like, straight off the bat, you can join both guilds and, and advance quite comfortably and not really have an issue. Um... Let's hedge our bats and go this way. Oh, <laughs> look, Jess, I know I'm awesome, all right? There, there's no, I'm, there's no, like, there's no thought against it. We, we all know I'm awesome, but, um, nah, it, it's just, uh, it's, it's not. It's, it's all fine. But thank you. Honestly, thank you. I went the wrong way again. I go the wrong way every single time I come down here. Um... I'm, I know, because I, I've somehow surrounded myself with so many amazing people on Twitch that, I don't know. Does the fro just stick, well, the fro just, like, stick everyone together like glue? Is that what it is? The the the, the hair sort of goes out and, and, and sort of grabs people and brings them into the mold sort of thing. That's, that's how this works, right? You think so? Yeah, I think so too. And you might look now and you'll go, hey, like, Ozzy, you, you still don't have that much hair. Um, that's a lie. Like, you guys should see it off camera. It's just like, it just pops back out again. This is just theatrics right here. This is totally sentient. All right, Jim, I have convinced Aridus Fire Eye to join our cause. Uh, Bitter Cup, there it is. So Aridus Fire Aridus took the Bitter Cup. Good. She's likely to betray us, too. But only if she thinks we think she won't. Anyway, I found these some good lockpicks the other day. And I thought you could find a use for them. A Grand Master's pick! <gasps> Excuse me. That is amazing. That is actually amazing. A Grand Master's pick. You can only use it 25 times. But it's... Oh, holy crap. That's awesome. All right. We still can't advance, that's fine. Uh, what other jobs you got for us? Based on what Perseus Mercius told you, Hirundi might join our courts and betray his leaders in the Fighters Guild. If that doesn't work, we could put pressure on Hirundi's woman. That seems rude. I don't want to put pressure on any woman. That's, that's very rude. Where is that? If you can find out who Hirundi's Dunma lover is, you can put pressure on to on him to join our cause. You can find Hurundi in the Sedrith Mora Fighters Guild. I'm sure you can find out something by asking around town. Alright, Sedrith Mora. Which shouldn't be too hard. Again, we've got the boat just here. It's all good. We can just travel on over. Let's mosey on over. 
Like, these guilds aren't... Oh, these guilds. These quests aren't really thieves. Like, thieving guild. Uh, oh my god, words work. They're, they aren't really thieving quests, right? They are... They are specific around protecting the guild and defending the guild from an attack that is going to come. As I said earlier in the stream, uh, Gentleman Jim Stacy has a set of Robin Hood quests you can do. But they are not fun. They are difficult. They are the hardest thieving quests in the game. And we're okay at thieving, but we're not amazing at it. The character's not designed for it, really. We're kind of... We've kind of jury-rigged the character to be good at it with a with an amazing ring. Um, and you have to wear a specific outfit to do it, and that actually kind of then lowers our ability to steal. Oh, there go my ankles. So, yeah. oh, speaking of ankles, guys, Nocti and I went shoe shopping yesterday because we I needed new runners because my current runners and everyday shoes are dead. Like they're done. They they were falling apart. So I bought. I was. I went into Nike. I went to the DFO. I went to the discount Nike store, and I'm like, okay, I'm just looking for a good pair of shoes that can double as runners and as you know, everyday shoes. You know, nothing nothing fancy. I was not looking for anything fancy. Do you want something? Um. So anyway, I walked out of the discount Nike store with two pairs of shoes. Um. <laughs> so. I found a pair that's like awesome for running and it's going to be really good for running. But then I pulled out the second pair that was amazingly comfortable and I was tossing up. That would also work for running. But then I thought to myself, well, hang on. The reason my current running shoes wore out is because I wore them as... What do I find Harundi again? I lost my train of thought. Um... The reason my old runners wore out so quickly is because uh, I use them for running and just casual walking and, and you know, just hanging around in shoes. Um, so that's why I thought it would be best if um, if I, I might get two pairs this time. And then I would just when I was ready to like pull out the old credit card and watch it you know, burst into flames as I use it for like the nth time that I shouldn't. Um... I managed to, uh, I managed to, uh, unknowingly grab a pair that was 50% off. And I was like, what? So, yeah, I, I got a bit of luck there. Um, J. Joel, hello, buddy. How you doing? Uh, I'm, as far as, like, introductions go, probably not the best thing to just jump in there. We're going, hey, go watch somebody else. Um, but I do hope you're having a, a wonderful day, buddy. <clears throat> Jesse, you need two pairs. You're the same with shoes. You always buy one and wear them to death. Yeah, I really should stop doing that. And which I have now. Um, but I tested both of them today. I'll, I'll, I tested the regular shoes yesterday and the running shoes today. And the running shoes were really good as well. So, and the regular ones are nice. Here's the price good. All right. So. Where is Harundi? You're Harundi. Okay, I really like his chest plate, and I, I like what he's got with his chest plate and his right, uh, his shoulder pads there. I do like this. Let's save the game. Are you gonna save even if you don't? Ah. Oh. <clears throat> Look, it. It's more that you know I don't I don't like. You know I I like sort of just. Moving on and just giving people, you know, a second chance to introduce themselves. Sometimes people honestly just, you know, it's not, yeah, I don't, I don't like dwelling on that sort of thing. Um, it's more like, hey, you know, I okay, know this guy wanted to help us. Okay. Anyway. So. I feel like if we ask him about his woman or his, his lady friend, uh, they're not going to be super happy with us. So let's see if we can make him like love us. Like that. And then ask him. You dare speak to me this way? Leave me. Oh my god. Okay. Let's talk to someone else. Do you know anything about Harundi's lady? I don't know, but Harundi normally hangs out at Farah's hole in the wall. Oh. Ooh, you can train me in athletics. Okay, there you come. Alrighty. Let's, so, we know that his lady friend is in the... 
uh, the corner club of Cedric Mora. So let's uh, let's go back and uh, see if we can investigate there. Because remember, we're all about trying to figure out how to bribe him to help us defend ourselves. Wait, where do I want to go? Uh oh, I'm lost. Chat, I'm lost. No, I'm, not. I'm good now. Oh, what the? This, wait, hang on. <laughs> wait, this isn't where I want to be. I am lost. How do I get lost in here? Oh dear. Oh dear. That's just ocean. Like, I don't want to be in the ocean. Right, go back up. Pyro Shrine. Ah, right, here we go. This is the exit I know. And then we break our toes. Ow. <clears throat> Alright, so this is far as hole in the wall. So what is the thunderstorm? Nah, nah. It, in fact, it's... It stopped raining now. <laughs> It was just, just rain. It just passed. No, this is dur Dirty Mirrors Corner Club. This is not where we want to go. Farah's Hole in the Wall. Where is... Where is Farah's Hole in the Wall? It might be in the, uh, in, or well, at the inn. So let's head over there. Let's head over there. <clears throat> Gateway in North Wing. Let's have a look up here. Oh, <laughs> that little tiny hop that didn't do anything got our acrobatics to 63. Gateway in. Maybe, hang on, let me just... Yeah, these are all houses. We've walked all the way around Sedrith Mora, so... That's all Wolverine Hall, right? Yeah, this is all Wolverine Hall. Wait, one of them moved. Fighter's Guild. Pure Shrine. Yeah, these are all the same. That's Dirty Murals Quarter Club. Where the heck is Fire's Hole in the Wall? What's over here? No. Thought this would save us time. Ah, oh, there it is. Fire's Hole in the Wall. Okay. So just go left. Yeah. Okay. Well, so we have a we should sell some things. We are actually kind of balked on our inventory right now. We're moving very slowly. You've been up since nine. It's two thirty now, and you didn't nana nap. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna give you a, a, a bit of a time tomorrow, Jess. Unfortunately. That should at least... Ooh, let's... Ooh. Fine, I don't really need all the gold. It's more just clearing the inventory. The bags are for real. Oh, dear. I have perpetual dark circles under my eyes now, I think. And it's just a thing that I have. I don't think I can really do anything about it. Hey, fire a thorn wall. Nice. Okay, so one of the Dunma uh, women here fancies Harundi. Let us, let us figure this out. Uh, do you, do you like Hurundi? Oh, you don't work for uh, Shoring Hard Heart, do you? Okay then, I'll admit it, Hurundi and I are lovers. Oh. Alright, we found the person. We literally, first person we spoke to, it was them. Excellent. Uh, in that case, let's go back to the Fighters Guild. With a little bit more pace now that we lightened our infantry. We could just jump. Jumping is a lot faster. Ooh, you're just a normal trader. Yes. Uh, you've got some gold too. Okay. Uh, if we could sell these. That'd be great. Um, could we also sell... Is there anything here? This Amulet of Frost. Just get rid of it. We don't need it. Silence, Restore Fatigue. Bone Charm's good. Caius' Ring is good. This Shard Bolt Ring, get, get it out of here. Telekinesis is cool. Even if I haven't learned how to use it yet. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Ooh, will you take this? You do! Excellent. 
We can't sell egg. That would be rude to egg. Alright. I think that's all we can get rid of here. It's hereditary just. Yeah, it can be. Oops. There we go. It's weird. They normally refuse your offer, but then if you offer one gold less, they accept it. It's very odd. I don't quite understand how it works. Because if I had have offered uh, 649 or 749, whatever it was, she still would have rejected it. Or would have gone to 648 and he, she would have accepted it. Oh my god, the jumping is so much faster. Which goes back to a comment I made like much earlier in the playthrough, like first episode, where I used to say to myself as a kid, because I glitched the character into having amazing jumping skills and I could just jump everywhere. Um, the stilt striders would come up to me and go, you know, why walk when you can ride? And I'd go, why ride when you can jump? I used to giggle at that. I thought I was funny, even from a young age. Still think I'm funny. Alrighty, Rundi. I know who you fancy. You already know my secret. What is it that you will have me do? Alrighty, I will have you join our courts. You know about Felina Har Falaren, do you? The two. Alright then, I guess I just have to help you. Just remember sh uh, that Shoring also knows who my lover is. Take Shoring out quickly. Don't give him a chance to regroup, and for her sake and yours. Okay, cool. Excuse me. So he will now help us fight, which is good. Which is very good. I'm going to quickly take care of something. Where's the Major Skill? Major Skill is up one, yeah? I'm going to sell the axe that's burning a hole in our pocket. We're going to use the Major's Guild to teleport to Caldera. And then we'll teleport from Caldera to Vivek. Stay out of trouble and you'll have none for me. Wait, stay out of trouble? That's actively what we don't do in this game. We get into as much trouble as possible. It's a good joke. Oh my god, Jess, do not give 10-year-old Aussie Dev... No, it wasn't 10-year-old. Do not give 13-year-old Aussie Dev Bro that, uh, uh, that sort of praise, please. He does not need it. <laughs> 13? No, 15. 15? Wow, was I making bad jokes like that at 15? Oof. Alrighty, um, we're gonna sell... <laughs> You're not my dad! Alright, we're gonna sell this. Now, this, this weapon's worth a lot more, but we really don't need the money. So just bear with me while I drop this down to 5,000 gold. I'm sure you were born making bad jokes. Noctia. You're not actually wrong, because remember, I was born on my dad's birthday. So... If someone was to call me a joke that, to my dad, right, you know, then does that mean I am a joke to, like, on his birthday? I'm, like, the birthday present that will forever torment him? So, theoretically, you could say that I was a bad joke from the moment I was born. Oof. That sounds bad. Eh, it sounds fine. <laughs> That was a great deal, um, okay. Creeper. Alright. Our inventory is now super good, so we should be, like, ultra fast now. Like, look at this speed. And my- and my mum's doctor said that there was no way that my parents could have a kid, so, like, I was literally a joke to the doctor as well. Like, ha, huh, that's what happens when I'm wrong. Um, so yeah, anyway. <clears throat> Alright, let's we can go straight back to Vivek. You're a miracle. <laughs> uh That'll give me too big of a head. <clears throat> so we're now back in Vivek. Uh we teleported in. My head's already huge. Thanks, Noct. Thank you. Too bad you're the one who has to look at it close up. Everyone else can just like minimize their screen and just listen to me. You're the one who actually has to look at me, so joke's on you. Your kids weren't supposed to happen either. Yeah, funny how life does that, Jess. The doctors are like, are you sure? <laughs> 
That's see, that's that's so interesting how that happens. Like, oh god, what? Is, oh, what the hell was that? Wait, no, I wanted to be there. Back up, we go. Okay. Wait, this isn't right. This isn't right at all. But she did. <laughs> That's just like the biggest troll, isn't it? Alright, I go the wrong way every time. So let's go let's go this way. 20 weeks down the line, bump out in Australia. Yeah, I think I'm sure. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, exactly. Like it's just like, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm pregnant. <laughs> I went the wrong way again! I was so sure I went the right way this time. God damn it. Oh my god. What is wrong with me today? My sense of direction is so off. this headache I have? I've got a headache that's appeared out of nowhere. It's just right there. Alright, Jim. Harundi has joined our cause. Did you talk him into joining? Good. We're making progress. Frogoni and Frollo of the First. Oh, thank you. Um, Harundi has agreed to join us. Can I advance yet? No, bugger. Okay. Next job. Come talk to me when you're a mastermind of the guild. Are you freaking kidding me? <sighs> okay. I like what I see. So. We have a problem. The problem is we can't get any more quests until we advance in... Uh, in the Thieves Guild more. So, we can either go, go start doing the um, the main quest lines quest, or we could just train. Sure, we need one skill at 70. What's the closest skill at 70? Speed Trap is at 70. That's not part of the Thieves Guild, though. Acrobatics is. But we need... We could just go do main quest line. You can tell something was off. You get hate because you fell too. Being empathetic sucks. Ah. It's just, it's not like a constant headache. It's just like every now and then there's just a small little ping right there. It's not nice. Not a nice feeling. Put it that way. Okay. Well, the good news is for the main quest, we actually want to be in Vivek anyway. So we're actually in the right place. Uh, we're going to go to the temple quarter. So where we are in the main quest is we are, we have fulfilled two out of seven, maybe three out of seven of the prophecies required to essentially acknowledge us as the reincarnation of an ancient hero. Uh, that's, um, that's kind of what, where we're at. And we're about to go talk to someone who can sort of confirm or help us along in terms of securing these other these other uh, prophecies, take some payments in case it develops into a migraine. I will, in fifteen minutes. Noctia, I can smell those hot nudes that you made, and now I'm like my mouth is salivating. Chat, take that how you wish. <laughs> take that how you wish. Okay, we're in St. Dwellin. We need to go one more further. No, not my hot nudes. Uh, okay. I think I'd like the, the person we're looking for, her last name is Milo. Can you have some noodles? I mean, you take the fun out of it when you use noodles instead of nudes, but yeah, sure. And that, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop making jokes about hot nudes now. 
All right. Um, Hall of Wisdom. We want to go to the Hall of Wisdom. All right. Uh, last name's Milo. I think we need to... She has a room somewhere. Canon Offices. I think it, it, I don't think it's in the Offices. Library of Nebec. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes, Outlander. What do you want? Oh God, I don't need. I do not need stereo people. Um, people in stereo. She's not here anymore. She was here. She is not here anymore. Uh, and I don't see her at all. So she is missing. Okay. You're proud that your sleep deprived brain understood it. <laughs> oh dear. Maybe it's in here. Nope, you're not the person I'm looking for. And you are not the person I'm looking for. Okay, next room. Uh, oh, Milo's quarters. There we go. I unlocked this earlier. Okay, so we were told she would leave some form of message for us. Oh. This might be it. Amara, because our, our, our journal updated. Amara, sorry I missed you. I had to run some old documents over to the Inquisitor at the Ministry of Truth, and I'm likely to be tied up there a while. Why don't you meet me there as soon as you can? Then we can leave together as soon as I'm done. And Amara, don't forget to bring me that two divine intervention scrolls you borrowed. Or, if you use them, buy a couple of new ones for me, and I think we're going to need them soon. Jonard Morlina, the Major's Guild, in the foreign quarters keep them in stock. Avelia Saram is the guard at the entrance. Just tell her you're looking for me and she'll let you in. P.S. I left you a couple of levitate potions here for you just in case. Oh. Okay. So she is saying come and rescue her from... Okay, we need divine intervention scrolls. I don't think I have any divine intervention scrolls. Because I used my ring to teleport? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Uh, she said at the Mages Guild. The Mages Guild has them. So now we're just going to get out of here. Um, go back to the Mages Guild of all places. Alright, you're going to go to bed? All good, Jess. Good luck with the sleep. And I may or may not see you tonight. As in my time tonight. If not, I may or may not see you... Uh, See you tomorrow. In fact, I, I would like to, I would hope to see you tomorrow for the Christmas party stream. Tomorrow night. Yeah, good luck with the sleep, Jess. Can you fast travel me to the foreign quarter? Yeah, close enough. You'll be up at 9 a.m. Alrighty. Good luck. Seek information, foreign quarter. This is where we want to be. The Mage's Guild is way up at the top, so let's just do this. Waddle, 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 waddle. We can turn, we're going to head up here. There we go. Up we go. Citizen. Citizen. Uh, oops. I don't think this is where we want to go, though. I think we want to go up one more. If possible. Um, is it possible? I thought there was one more up we can go. It's the Mage's Guild. Yeah, here we go. Mage's Guild is just through here. Okay. Uh, your Mages Guild. Someone here sells... Something I can do for you, Outlander. No? Do you sell scrolls? You do. Divine Intervention. There we go. Got him. Uh, is there anything we can sell back that we don't need? Uh, we don't really need... Oh, she doesn't buy potions. Never mind then. Uh, in that case... Yeah, sure. Just don't charge me that much. Oh my god. Okay. You did not like me. Why don't you like me? Everyone likes me. I'm just thinking if there's anyone here that offers training in alteration. 
Just because I do need to use the spell. Oh, mysticism. I need to find someone who's trained who can train in mysticism. Oh. No. So good. Uh sorry. It was... This may just guild is useless. Do you train? No. Do you train? No. Oh my god. Do you train? No. Oh my god. All I want is some training in mysticism. No, no one here trains. What a useless magic magic skill. Magic guild. Magic card guild? Magic oh god. Brain. You need to like work. Fuck. Spell and spell making. No. Wow. Wow. That's all I'm gonna say there. Um, alrighty. Where did she where did she say she was going? Uh a fan note. Addressed to Amiya. Probably imprisoned in the Ministry of Truth. I'm to tell the guard at the entrance that I'm looking for Milo. Okay. And she'll let me in. Alrighty. Ministry of Truth. I think that might be back at the Hall of Justice. So let's head back to the Hall of Justice and we will figure that out. More waddling. That's, that's all this means is more waddling. And eventually our acrobatics will reach a point where we can, um, out, break, stop breaking. Oh no. <laughs> that was, that was weird. Uh, eventually we will hit a point where we can, um, where we can come back to the Thieves Guild. And you know what? If not, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Like, we'll just, we'll figure it out. Whee! How do we not break our toes there? That makes no sense. Our little Frogonian toe. Well, long. Yeah, long Frogonian toesies should be broken there. Oh well. Yeah, go back to the temple. Really want to use this new vampire ring? Wait, do I have my. Yeah. Couldn't remember if I had my um, super agility ring on. That essentially allows us to it allows us to hit a punch above our weight and it also allows us to um sneak so much better that ring such a good find all right i'm pretty sure the ministry of truth is in the hall of justice it's like a prison -y area i believe for underworks offices um, officers? I don't think it's in the officers. Although there's meant to be a guard, isn't there? Hold on. That makes a lot of sense. There is meant to be a guard around. Ordinated barracks. Ordinated barracks. Officer of the watch. May I help you? Wait, are you the person I'm meant to talk to? No. Alright. Weird to see an ordinator, like, with a name. Ooh, this door has a carpet. It's a temple. It's an exit. Ministry of Truth. Oh, what the hell? Um, what? There's a giant floating rock up there. I totally forgot that existed. Um, is that where we're... I... Hmm. I mean, she did leave us some flying potions. Maybe we are meant to go up there. All hail fro floaty rock. I mean, there's only one way to figure out. Fuzzy Depper away! Oh my god, it's even derpier when we're doing this. We've got to make it through here. Okay. Uh, Ministry of Truth, Hall of Processing. Lock level 80. Well, I don't think I'm meant to go in this door. But, if there's a lock level 80, there has to be something good in here, right? Like, you don't you don't throw a lock level 80 at me and then expect me not to, like, go in. Oh, lock's too close. If we use up our Grandmaster's pick here, I'm going to be very upset. Very upset. 
Okay. <laughs> Upset enough to reload the game. Because theoretically, there's a better way to do this. Right? We take off our vampire ring. We put on our... A uh, ring that upgrades our security, our lockpicking skills by 20%. And then we find that ring. There it is, Caius's ring. There it is right there. We equip a not as good lockpick. Look at that, second try. Oh my god. It's that easy. When you actually pay attention. When you actually do, you know... Utilize what you have. All right. Well, now we're now we're in a place where I don't think we should be. But okay. But no one's stopping us, so I'm just gonna wander through this rock. Um, worn cabin door, lockpick of ten. Um, interesting. Am I am I alone? If I'm alone, I'll open this door. I seem to be alone. Oh, hello. Uh, hi. Oh, I'm sorry. Grand Inqui- What do you want? Oh, he just spoke to me automatically. I don't care who you are or why you're here. No one comes here without proper authorization. Now get out while you can. Oh, we're dead. I think. I think he's angry at me. Oh yeah, he. He, he's, he is big angry at me. He is casting spells at me. Angry. Right. Whoa! That's a big spell. That's a big spell. No, 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 no. no. Whoa, no. Well, Nelly. You're also healing? That's cheating. We're also going to die. Oh, God. I could, I could heal. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, we killed him. Uh, cool. Well, this is a thing that's happened. Um, we have murdered the Grand Inquisitor of the Ordinator Army. Uh, look, I'm not... Hmm. Hmm. I mean, the game's not saying that the quest line is ruined. So, theoretically, do I need to reload? The guards aren't after me. I mean, if the guards aren't after me, and egg, I, I'm thinking I'm not gonna reload. I think we're just gonna let's, yeah, you know what? Let's pretend nothing ever happened. That's the temple. Uh, you are not the person we're supposed to... Okay. We are also extremely... How did this guy not hear the sounds of combat? Oh, we're outside now. Uh, we're outside. Something I can do oh, you're the person I'm meant to talk to. I'm sorry, no pilgrims allowed in the ministry. I'll have to ask you to leave. But you're not here to visit anyone, are you? Ah, uh, yeah. I am. Mehra said you would come. I'd say... I'll say you subdue with magic and stole my key. It opens up all three exterior doors. The upper back door is best. You'll need other keys for other doors inside... Search for keys in desks. No one carries keys while on duty. Mehra is in the prison keep in a cell in the far right. Right, well, good news is we have the key we need anyway because we took it off the Grand Inquisitor. Um, let's just... Let's just look around. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, no, they are! They are attacking me! They are attacking me! Uh, let's go in here. Oh, no, we are, we are being, okay, we are in big trouble. Uh, like, lots of trouble. So let's take off Caius's ring. Let's put on the Vampiric ring. Let's use a few healing potions. I said find a few healing potions. And pray that we can... Uh, no, I want, I want to, I want my vampiric ring. Thank you. This item doesn't have enough charge. Are you kidding me? What's wrong with the, 
Why does the item not have enough charge? I haven't used it. Oh my god. Well, this could be a problem. Uh, do we have any scrolls that heal me? I mean, we could just use some of these scrolls. There we go. Look at that. Like, this This looks like a time to use some magic scrolls that kill people, right? Um, That's a cool sword. I'll take that. Oh, God. Uh, do we have any other... Oh, that's, that's a good heal. There we go. Um, there we go. That's another fire, fire damage scroll. All right, let's go. Is anyone else fighting? Yeah, yeah, a little more fighting. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, God. We got attack. There we go. Okay, apparently you took, like, no damage. Oh, because they're, they're done, Mark. That makes sense. Oh, God. I put my hands away. Hands need to stay out. Oh, God. He, he's taking some form of damage. Yeah, he took some good damage with that. These See see what I mean, like, before? Like, fighting normal enemies, we're actually pretty okay. Fighting, like, strong enemies, we are very much uh, in a bit of trouble. Recall on self. Ooh, that's pretty good. There's some nice things in there. My crime has been reported. Uh oh, I should not have stolen those. All right. Uh, let's just. I think it's time we just um, put on our septum ring. Please tell me that did not take off. Uh, it did. Okay, put on the good ring. All right. It's time we just go. All right. It's go time. It's go time. We could have done this all stealthy like, but instead we went in guns blazing or spears blazing. The game hasn't told us we're in trouble yet, so I think we're okay. He's blocking so often. There we go. Easy out. Our crime has been reported. Um, I don't know. Wait, are you guys reporting our crimes? Oh, you're reporting. How, how much bounty do I have? Holy crap, that's a lot of bounty. Alright. We will have to talk to the Thieves Guild to get that sorted. But before we do that, you're going to go down. But without innocence getting in the way, if possible. Can you, like, stop blocking? Thank you. No, no, you're not allowed to hit me. The, the, the thing is here, dude. I hit you, you don't hit me. That's better. I'm right. Listening. I think that did it. <sighs> None of these people are the people we're looking for. You are, though. Personally, Frogonian Frolord, I really respect you. But you're a notorious outlaw. Excuse me. I... I came here to drag you out. Who... How do we talk to you? What do you want? Ancestors. Caius. Caius has gone back to the Imperial City. He says he's been recalled. I wonder. I never know what he's thinking. I think he's involved in something secret. Lost prophecies. Can't talk now. But in the agro... Apographa, the hidden teaching of the temple, there are several extensive references to the lost prophecies. Prophecies no longer among the Ashlanders, but recorded by earlier temple pilgrims. I think you'll find what you're looking for in the libraries of Holomayan. Okay. But she is giving us info, which is good. Secret monastery of dissident priests. The monastery itself is beneath the surface of the remote island along Azura's coast, with only a single entrance given. Interesting. Um, how are we getting you out of here? Don't you want to leave? How do you? How do we get you out of here? Okay. Um, have I broken the quest? I think I might have broken the quest. We might have to reload. Okay, let's uh let's save this other save here. And then we'll reload the one before I killed the Grand Inquisitor. Because I honestly I think that is what hurt us. I, I did kill the Grand Inquisitor. And and that is what hurt us. So let's like as in we we became under attack immediately. I think we need to stealth through. I don't think we should fight our way through. So let's load 
back this one. Oh wait, did I save over it? Shit. Hopefully I didn't. Alright, well, yeah, we're still levitating. Okay. Let's levitate up further. Hopefully not fall to our death. Okay, here we go. Alright, where is she? The the other woman that we were meant to... There she is. Alright. Is there something you need? Uh, visit anyone. Alright. She's given us her key. Cool. So we're gonna go around the back. I think the, the path we took was good. We just need to make sure we find a key. Alright. So let's do this properly. Let's make sure we've got our stealth ring on. We've got our amulet of shadows ready to go. Okay. It doesn't really have much charge though. We might just rest for 24 hours just to give it some more charge. We can use it a few times now. There we go. Alrighty. Well, we can still only use it once, but that's fine. Wait, how are we not stealthed? Okay, that's right. Let's go. So no one should be able to see me. We're pretty we're pretty stealthed. Which way did we go? We went up and around, I think. Let's see how long this stealth gets us. Okay, that's pretty good. That was pretty good. We walked straight past him. Now you. Oh, we went straight past again. Excellent. Excellent. Alright. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We. Okay. You're not wrong, Davy. Okay, if our invisibility runs out now, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Okay, we're going to take this. There's a key in here, what we need. Okay. And we want to go in the first one. We're, we're so close. To, oh, no. Oh, no, we're about to be visible. Oh, shit. Okay, we're okay. There we go. We did it. I We somehow did it without being seen. Even though we went visible right at the end. We'll know because we'll have Okay, we're good. What do you want of me, Outlander? We're good. Yay, now she talks to us properly. Okay, so fighting them was the bad idea. We had to do it sneaky like. Okay. Uh, I do have the divine intervention scrolls, but hang on. First of all I want to talk to you about the lost prophecies. And then I want to talk to you about that place. Okay, cool. There we go. Um, alright, uh divine intervention scrolls. I have them. I'll need one divine intervention scroll for myself for my escape plan. Getting out of here will be a lot faster and safer for you if you have one. But if you haven't got one for yourself, you can find some other way out. Now, Riz, listen. Here's my plan. Give me a divine intervention scroll, and I'll meet you at the secret dissident prince monastery at Hola Mayan. For safety, we'll travel separately. Once you get out of here, look for a woman named Blata Hatera on the east docks of Ebenhart. Tell her I sent you and that you want to go fishing. She will bring you to Holomayan by boat. I'll meet you there, and we'll get the lost prophecies from Gilvas Barlow, and the leader of the dissident priests. The magic that conceals Holomayan entrance. Okay, and the magic that conceals Holomayan entrance. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's all good, Davy. Uh, it was a good one. It was a good one. I liked it. I think I'm just not feeling it. I don't. I just don't think I'm feeling it right now. In all honesty. Um... Alright, so she's going to disappear. I don't know. Do I... There we go. I mean, I suppose we can use it. Alright. So now we're at Ebenhart? Yeah, we are at Ebenhart. Cool. So, since we're at Ebenhart now, we can just... Have I eaten today? Yeah, I have. I have. Yes, yes, I have eaten. I've been warded. I've got been taken out for walkies. Um, I've been looked after. I, I was given a good belly rub earlier.
Yeah, you heard me, Nokia. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> Bye, who? Alright, so I'm pretty sure it's this person. Please, by all means, I'm listening. Yes, I'm Blada Hatera. Do I know you? Uh, know you. Right, you're Fregonian Fro Lord. My friend said you might want to go fishing. Whoa, Ozzy sarcastic Fro much? Ozzy sarcastic Fro. There's no way we can turn that into an email. I know a fine place. Excellent fishing. My friend, Mahira Milo, says it's a favorite fishing spot. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so now she travels. Azura's Coast region. I don't think I've ever... I, I have done this once, obviously. I just don't remember it. Where are we? Oh, we're over here. Oh. All right, well, I think this is a pretty... Like, okay. Like, I'll be honest. I'm not I'm not really feeling it. Um, And if we want to have a good stream later on tonight, maybe I just rest up now. Is that all right with you, Davey? Is there something I can do for you, Alfano? Noctia? Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just sign off. Like because we did we did a good two hours and we we've progressed as far as we can in regards to the the uh, the the thieves guild. We can't do any more thieves guild until we get more acrobatics. Maybe what I can do before Thursday's Morrowind stream is I can train up, nap with Nana Noct. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Can I actually can I leave or do I am I stuck here? I think I'm stuck here until I do this quest. There is a chest here. <gasps> Whoa. There's some good stuff in here. Hold on. Can I, like... Can I... If I can stealth here... Do I have a chameleon? I thought I had, like, invisibility. I have the chameleon... There we go. That's down here on shadows. All right, hang on. I'll see if I can. Okay, we're invisible now. All right, can we steal what's in this chest? Do Van Ant made it's fine. Christmas season does weird stuff. Yeah, belt of charisma. That's awesome. Flame bolt ring. Meh. Pearl's expensive. Gold's good. Uh, ring of firestorm. That's actually really good. Uh, magic of steel. All right, I think we stole all her stuff. I think that was all her belongings, and we just stole it all. But you know what? I'm kind of okay with this because we're a little thievey for it um but yeah i think i'll i'll just sign off early um there we go that's okay um yeah normally guys so if there's anyone if anyone's there um who's watching me who isn't normally here uh so ordinarily i go for four hours now and then we have a two hour break uh but for, I, I think i'm just you know the headache's coming through and i'm just feeling a little off so maybe we'll, we'll cut it here for now uh, I will be live again at 6 p.m. though, so I will go live in four hours' time. We will uh, play some more Yakuza Like a Dragon because I need to play more of that management mini game. Like legit, I I have to go and play the management mini, mini game. That that is going to be. I might even title the stream "Management Mini Game Hype," and uh, people will pop in and go, "What the hell is he doing? This is like the most boring thing ever." But too bad, I want to do it. <laughs> um, so we'll be doing that later. And yeah, I've got stuff to plan in regards to tomorrow and um, later on in the week. So maybe it is best that I not burn myself out here um, and not push myself to just do something for the sake of doing it. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's cut it there um, a little early for a change. Um, is there anyone? Um, we'll we'll <sighs> yeah, we might just we might just cut it there. We might just cut it there. Um, in all honesty, I, I don't even feel like raiding. Um, that's, that's a first. Um, yeah. Yeah, we might just, we might just cut it there. Um, so thank you for joining me for this Morrowind stream, guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see you in a couple of hours, guys. I'll see